वेलकम टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनपीटीएल मोक कोर्स ऑन क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी एंड क्वांटम फेनोमेना इन मैक्रोस्कोपिक सिस्टम्स आई एम प्रोफेसर अमरेंद्र कुमार शर्मा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स आईटी गुवाहाटी आई एम ऑफरिंग दिस कोर्स टू एनेबल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ वेरियस डिसिप्लिनस टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी इज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स इज टू फेमिलियराइज द स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट द थियोरिटिकल टूल्स ऑफ क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी एंड क्वांटम मैक्रोस्कोपिक क्वांटम फिजिक्स आउट ऑफ वेरियस क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेटफॉर्म्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सोलिड स्टेट बेस्ड टेक्नोलॉजी क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेटफॉर्म्स आसे सर्किट क्वांटम इलेक्ट्रोडायनेमिक्स एंड केविटी नैनो मेकानिकल सिस्टम हु इज इन शॉर्ट इज कॉल्ड केविटी क्वांटम ऑप्टो मेकानिक्स वी ऑल नो दैट क्वांटम मेकानिक्स इज एट द रूट ऑफ मेनी मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेजार्स Atomic clocks, GPS, the entire field of electronics, computers, internet, mobile communications. In these technological applications, the role of quantum mechanics is indirect; hence, they are known as the first generation of quantum technology. In fact, uh, till 1980s, people were working with only collection of atoms or collection of photons. It was not possible to control individual quantum system. and because of that the quantum fissures were not used directly in technological applications however the things got changed since 1980s uh, when it became possible to control individual quantum system in fact the research in this direction started in 1980s and promising results were found in the last two decades such is the impact of such research the two pioneering researchers sarge herose and david j wineland were awarded 2012 physics nobel prize for their ground breaking work uh, for manipulation of individual quantum system in fact their work led to the possibility of quantum computers now quantum uh, mechanics is entering into a new regime Uh, as regards the technological application is concerned and this is now known as the second generation of quantum technology and already uh, there are application in terms of quantum cryptography and there are numerous possible applications such as quantum information processing quantum sensors uh, energy there is a possibility for energy storage in quantum system quantum internet and so on to sum up and we are going to discuss it in some details in lecture 1 of module 1 that at the core of current quantum technology is the so called engineered quantum system for example the so called superconducting electronic circuit which is also known as circuit quantum electrodynamics crow and nano mechanical or opto mechanical system quantum dots and so on are artificial quantum system in fact to understand this uh, platforms tools of quantum optics and condensed matter physics are needed and this is the photograph of uh, google ceo sundar pichai next to google's quantum computer who is most of you might have recognized this is based on superconducting circuit or simply called circuit qvd and one of the goals of the course is to discuss circuit qvd and we will do that in module 2 On the other hand in module 3 we will discuss another quantum technology platform called cavity opto mechanical system which has numerous technological applications apart from its ability to address many fundamental physics question and in module 1 we will build up the most essential basics right from scratch and this course is actually essential it is an application of quantum optics to condensed matter system however there is as a prerequisite there is no need for knowledge of quantum optics we are going to build up all the basics uh, from scratch however a familiarity with basic basic quantum mechanics will be helpful but not essential and notable features of this course would be that there will be detailed discussion of theoretical tools and we will have problem solving sessions after every three four lectures and there will be easy to do assignment Uh, based on entirely on class lectures and there will be also doubt clarification sessions moreover i will encourage you to send uh, us email and we'll try to answer to your 
queries via emails as well let me assure you that you don't need very complicated quantum mechanics to understand this course in fact you need to have a familiarity with quantum mechanics of two level system and a bit of quantum harmonic oscillator in fact all these topics will be discussed in great details in module one of the course moreover you will be assisted by problem solving sessions i hope you will enjoy the course if you have any qu query or questions please uh, feel free to contact me i hope to see you in the course thank you so much